for all your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description, and if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode. It's episode number 51. We're in the final week of the Chelsea Career Mode. Of course, there was an episode, a mini episode, go up at the weekend on Saturday asking you guys to vote for the next team that we're going to use. So I'll leave a link in the description to that straw poll vote. As I said, that will be up all week for you guys to vote, and then I'll start recording for the new career mode as of next weekend but the first game we have today is in the Champions League of course we drew the first leg away in Germany at Dortmund 1-1 so we're hoping for a decent result here but they actually get off to the better start just three minutes in they go 1-0 up after Petacek comes out punches clear doesn't get it clear properly and of all players it's Juan Mata comes back to the bridge to haunt us scores Borussia Dortmund and away goal very, very early on. So that's an early knockback. But Eden Hazard breaks away 10 minutes later. That is a gorgeous finish. Steps inside the defender. Really has no chance. The goalkeeper should do better, in my opinion. I think Wiedenfeller perhaps could have uh, dealt with that particular shot a little bit better than he did. But nonetheless, fantastic shot from Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard. And we are straight back into the tie. Back on level terms, on aggregate, and on away goals as well. So uh, as we stand, this is the only result now that can see the tie going to extra time. But they came back at me straight away from the kickoff, as you can see, 14th, 15th minute. Diego Costa, another former Chelsea player, shrugs off the challenge, plays through OK Gundogan, a great save from Petitek, another rebound goal, smacks off the post from the shot from distance, and then it's Gundogan there again to head in the rebound. A second rebound goal, and uh, we find ourselves 2-0 down. That's two away goals for, uh, for Dortmund now, so we find ourselves needing to win the game outright, because if we only draw, Dortmund will go through on away goals. But just before, or just after the half-hour mark, rather, Eden Hazard picks up his and our second goal of the game, and we head in at half-time at 2-2. So it's 3 all on aggregate. As things stand, Borussia Dortmund go through on away goals, so we need to pick it up for the second half, get ourselves into the game. As you can see, the stats at half-time has been quite close. We've scored from every single shot we've had, so if we could continue continue to, uh, to have that sort of shot to goals ratio then we will uh, definitely stand a good chance of going through but you can see how hard Dortmund were working to defend two players just stuck to Eden Hazard for uh, the entirety of the second half Sven not Sven Lars Bender's going to whip in the corner for us it's going to find its way to Ramirez on the edge of the box and again there's so many players in between him and the goal uh, the ball drops to Luis Muriel but unfortunately he's offside as he makes the turn inside the defender so fantastic turn had opened itself up up had opened itself up for the shot but unfortunately he was a couple of yards offside so made a couple of changes took off Royce and Sherlock for Oscar and Willian to try and freshen things up in the middle and out wide going forward to, to try and make sure that we could qualify for the next round of the Champions League and the next chance was actually going to go our way and it was going to be the final chance of the game could we get ourselves into the next round of the Champions League the ball just would not fall for Lewis Muriel rebound after block shot after scramble we're out of the Champions League boys I uh, I can only apologise that we aren't able to push through to the next round we fall at the final hurdle we drop out at the semi-final stage and uh, unfortunately we aren't able to push through into the next round as you can see there was a draw in the other semi-final as well Juventus and Bayern Munich it's actually Bayern that pushed through so the first season was a replay of the uh, of the 2012 final with Chelsea and Bayern Munich and Chelsea coming out on top and in fact the second season is uh, is a follow up of the 2013 uh, Champions League final with Bayern playing Borussia, uh, Borussia Dortmund so we'll have to wait and see whether Bayern can come out on top and completely uh, you know mimic what actually happens in real life over the past two seasons but we're back to Premier League action this is now the only competition that matters for us we're up against Southampton away from home and it is of course a very very tough tie to, uh, to come and get some points from now we sit second in the table after uh, dropping some points in the past two episodes. We actually find ourselves three points off the pace now with six games left, right behind Arsenal. We've got a couple of teams four and five points behind us, but we can't afford any slip-ups here. And uh, Southampton are actually going to have the first chance of the game. It's Victor Wanyama on the edge of the box, dances inside, finds Grisicki. Great effort, but uh, well saved from the goalkeeper, and we do eventually hook it clear. Now, I'm having to play 
uh, quite a rotation side in this one because of course the, uh, the semi-final against Borussia Dortmund wasn't too long ago and we come so so very close to getting ourselves in front with the uh, the drilled ball across from Van Hinkle there Van Ginkle and uh, unfortunately we aren't able to turn the ball over the line but we push into the second half for the next few chances Adam Lallana doing the business on the edge of the box great shot but a good save from Thibault Quarter keeps him at bay and Adam Lallana was such a creative force uh, for Southampton in this game I was really really impressed with him but Jason Punchin is going to be the man to whip in the corner it's going to go up to uh, to Lovren in the air hits the post and it's another rebound goal this time Courtois can't quite get a palm to it hits the post and falls straight to the man rushing in at the back post unfortunately the defender can't react in time and again we fall behind to a rebound goal but Thomas Callas pushes down the right hand side that was sneaking under the bar that cross and uh, the goalkeeper definitely has to do all he can to palm it over it's actually Asmir Begovic they've got in goal not Arta Boric but uh, Leroy Fur goes up with a header from the corner and unfortunately he can't direct it on target it does fly over the top but we're going to continue with the pressure going to try and get ourselves back in this game if we possibly can Ashley Cole's free behind the lines down the left-hand side, cuts inside, finds Willian again, gets away from one defender, gets away from two, but the second defender just gets a big curly toe to it as he's striking the ball, and he can't quite get the shot on target, and it flies wide of that far post. But Begovic is going to have a, uh, a clearance here. We've brought on Luis Muriel for Fernando Torres to try and make sure that we can push ourselves in in, you know, back into the game, get ourselves back on level terms. But Adam Lallana, again, the creative force, fantastic feat to get away from the defender. Lovely ball over the top to Rodriguez. It's saved by uh, Thibaut Quarta, and it's another rebound goal. This time, uh, Southampton pushed 2 0 up after all of our dominance early on in the uh, in the game. But we're going to try and get ourselves at least a goal back if we possibly can. Maybe even get ourselves back into the game at 2 2. It's uh, Kevin De Bruyne paid in by Thomas Callas. Great shot, well saved by the goalkeeper. Forced to Van Hinkle. I wanted him to attack the ball and try and volley it. And he just stood there, waited, waited, and then just put in the tamest of headers from the edge of the box. Really, really frustrating. And unfortunately, Begovic makes up another follow-up save. We can't get a goal back. So we're in stoppage time now. In the 93rd minute, Luis Muriel gets away from the two defenders. Plays in Kevin De Bruyne again. He gets the ball under control nicely, but the finish just isn't there. I oh, was so disappointed with Kevin De Bruyne there. He really should be side-footing that into the back of the net. He gets it out of his feet really, really well. And the finish just it just isn't up to snuff and now unfortunately we do lose the game away at Southampton we take no points we couldn't afford to drop any points and we dropped all of them so that's a draw or technically a defeat as we knocked out the Champions League and a defeat against Southampton are we bottling this championship? Are we going to lose the Premier League title in the last few episodes? We need a win at home against West Ham if we possibly can to maintain at least some pressure on the teams above us. You'll see from the table on your screen right now, we sit third, now four points behind Arsenal. But we do have a game in hand on Manchester City in second. So uh, it's still all to play for if we can pick up three points at home against West Ham. Now, it's three points that Chelsea weren't able to get in real life. If you uh, cast your mind back to the game this season, where uh, Chelsea had something like 32 shots, or over 30 shots, it was mental, didn't score a single goal, and uh, West Ham kept them out. Adrian had an absolute game of his life. Now, we went 1-0 down there through yet another rebound goal. It was becoming a bit of a joke in this episode. So many goals conceded through uh, through the unfor most unfortunate of circumstances. Just not able to react quick enough to uh, to get ourselves, you know, the the defensive stability that we need right now. But uh, Lars Bender gets us back on level terms quite quickly after conceding. You know, so in the 20th minute and we were back at 1-1. So I was confident pushing forward that we would be able to get a result from this game. And we came at them for the rest of the game. As you can see, Desilio breaking into the box. Plays the ball into Marco Royce. But uh, Desilio gets taken down he's going to pick up a yellow card here Ricardo Vazetain we're going to have a free kick on the edge of the box now uh, Marco Royce of course is the uh, the better free kick taker in the team of course Eden Hazard is pretty decent but uh, I'm going to put Marco Royce on it because uh, he has the best stats has scored a couple of free kicks for us this season it's on target going in towards that top right hand corner but unfortunately Adrian gets across and is able to get two solid hands behind it West Ham are going to play the ball over the top here looking for Andy Carroll suspicion of offside Danilo trying to get the uh, the ball off him but he, I just can't get the ball off him he's so so strong Andy Carroll Danilo is not the uh, the lightest of players you know he's not weak in any sense he's still six foot tall and uh, he's still very very fast but Andy Carroll is just an absolute donkey and I could not get around him and they take a shock 2-1 lead just before we went in at the break but Eden Hazard is going to find himself in behind here Adrian that save man the reactions to shove a foot out is absolutely spectacular Sherla's going to whip in the corner 
Bender's going to go up. Doesn't quite get there. Drops to ben, uh, Danilo on the edge of the box. Feeds in Ramirez. Going to have a shot from distance. And Adrian again gets himself across to make the save. But the pressure is still coming. Andre Schoeller whips in another corner. Up goes Varane. He's sneaking under the bar. Adrian goes up again. Tips it over. We have another corner this time. It's Lars Bender to whip it in from the other side. It's Rafael Varane again. And unfortunately, it's straight at the goalkeeper. The Spanish Adrian is going to thwart us yet again. But Schoeller is still determined to get us back on level terms if we possibly can. Another save from Adrian. Royce with a shot this time. Palmed onto the post and West Ham scramble it clear. Luis Muriel picks the ball up again on the edge of the box. Shot deflected. A question of handball there. I thought it came off a hand. You'll have to make up your own minds. But we come back again trying to force the issue if we possibly can. Lars Bender in behind again. Can he get himself? He's second and our second. He can't. It's another save from Adrian in goal. So Andre Scherler whipping the corner. Get it in the box. I need to score a goal. This is vital now. Drops to Danilo on the edge of the box has the strike Adrian palms onto the post finally a rebound goes our way it drops to Ramirez after Adrian makes yet another save palms it onto the post for the second time this game and Ramirez is on hand to slot the ball into the back of the net can we get the win we need three points with just a few minutes from time now Luis Muriel gets played over the top he can't quite bring it down it drops to Ramirez Adrian makes a save Luis Muriel on the rebound I can't get my words out we're so close to winning this game but it's just not to be Luis Muriel we've just been so unlucky in this game and in this episode as a whole just rebound goals conceded Time and time again, goalkeepers have thwarted us and we aren't able to get ourselves the three points we need. You'll be able to see from the end of game stats that are going to pop up on the screen once we uh, we skip here. 14 shots, 12 on target, just the two goals. That emphasises how good a game Adrian had in goal for West Ham there. As you can see, we're still third, but now we're seven points off the lead with just four games left. So we'll split the uh, the next two episodes up to two games an episode so that we can uh, make the this particular end of season series last all weeks. So we won't have a Wednesday episode this week, but do feel free to check the straw poll link in the description to, uh, to let me know what team you want me to use for the next career mode. If you missed the previous episode in this series, there's an annotation on screen there to uh, over the little snippet of gameplay to take you to that video. If you aren't subscribed to the channel already, we're pushing towards 6,000 subs. It'd be fantastic if you could get involved. Drop the uh, the channel a subscription there's a link in the description an annotation on screen over that subscribe button and uh, of course please do feel free to leave the video a like as well if you could be so kind so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time